everybody, it's the Michael Simbayo coming at you with another video update from the home fruiting tent where I have been producing mushrooms for my own personal co uh, consumption and for my family to consume. Uh, we're looking at some shiitake, you want to know what you go to eat. This is the 3782 variety from Aloha Medicinal. Uh, we have 13 blocks of shiitake in here and we have one straw log of Pleurotus orangii or trumpet oyster, also known as the king oyster. Um, I would have never been able to put this many blocks of mushrooms in here if it wasn't for all of the plants that I had introduced into the tent. Uh, we have a sage here. Uh, we have three sea buckthorn plants that I'm just holding in here until uh, next spring. We have a cactus plant, an aloe plant, a few uh, varieties of lettuce, a little bamboo, and another house plant. I'm not sure what it is, um, but I'm holding these down here um, mostly for the winter, but I figured I'd put them in the tent um, to provide oxygen, and it's been able, it's been uh, giving me the capability of producing way more mushrooms. I could have solved this problem easily by adding a fan that would be uh, constantly pulling the air out of the room, but I currently do not have the finances for that, so this is a cheaper alternative. Um, I haven't been noticing any pests, aside from a few fungus gnats, which, which can easily be maintained uh, with some sticky traps, but I'm honestly not worried about them. Um, if you are having problems with CO2, you can attach a fan, uh, inline fan, which you can get at a local hydroponic store, and attach it to a carbon filter so you're not shooting spores throughout your area, your room, your basement. If you have it connected straight to outside, it's not the biggest deal to shoot spores outside. Um, so yeah, we've been having lots of success. I harvested a few pounds of shiitake uh, over this past weekend at Thanksgiving week actually. Um, shared some with friends, ate some for dinner. Uh, look at that one, has a big cap on it over there. Um, so yeah, not really much to show. Um, we have had success with getting mushrooms to produce uh, two flushes from these blocks that weren't fully browned, so that's exciting. Um, they've been very comparable to the browned blocks, so doesn't seem as though I'm losing any weight or anything like that. Um, all of these blocks in here have fruited twice. Um, so I might try for a third uh, flush. They don't seem to be growing any trichoderma on the blocks, which is a very good sign. Um, so I might go ahead and try and get another flush out of them. And uh, when we do that, we just get our big totes out and fill it up with water. Um, if you feel like you need to, you can wait uh, 24 hours for it to dechlorinate. Um, not all municipalities use um, dissolvable chlorine that can be evaporated. So you have to check in with your local municipality about that. But as far as I'm concerned, none of these shiitakes have shown any problems with uh, being soaked in chlorinated water. And I think it might add in a little bit of uh, prevention of any molds or bacteria growing on the outside. I also add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide into my water. So yeah, we got lots of life in the basement. We'll just be harvesting salads uh, down here soon throughout the winter that we can top with delicious mushrooms that we have growing right next to them. Symbiotic systems, everybody. It's the way of the future. Um, indoor growing is not preferable for permaculture ideals. When you're thinking about earth care, you can try and do your best, but you're not gonna be able to recreate the natural environment, being exposed to the sun, uh, the sounds of nature, all of that. We won't be able to recreate that indoors. So for all of my organisms that I have in here, I wouldn't be hitting that on the earth care as much. Um, but I feel as though extending their lives into the winter, allowing them uh, some more time to live and keeping them alive um, is just as helpful and beneficial uh, as well as a mutual relationship. Um, just throwing that out there, a little food for thought. So yeah, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share it on Facebook and Twitter, all that jazz. Any permaculture blogs or mushroom blogs. It's been another Michael Simbayo video. Propagate and Marsilia.